Hi guys, I want to quickly show you guys how to install a mod slash plugin that will increase your FPS on VRChat. Um, if you have a computer that's maybe not so good, this mod will definitely benefit for you. Um, if you have a computer that's already pretty good or maybe just really, really good, um, you know, you're still going to get an increase uh, in performance on VRChat. Um, you can see how my FPS is 40, 41. It's just kind of hovering around that on this world. And this is without the mod. Um, so I will go ahead and install the mod and then I'll show you guys my FPS again. Um, I will also say that I'm going to show you guys, well, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to fix the 10 FPS bug on VR chat when you open your dashboard, but that'll be towards the end of the video. But um, I will go ahead and close my game. Now, you're going to want to install Melon Loader, which if you have that installed already, then, you know, skip this. But um, I'll have the link in the description. Going to want to go to Assets here, Melon Loader Installer. Click on it. Going to want to open it. Now, after that, you're going to want to click Select, and you're going to want to find your VRChat install directory, which mine's default under Local Disk. Uh, see, and then uh, program files x86. Then you're gonna want to go to Steam, uh, Steam apps, common, your chat, and then you're gonna want to go down to the bottom. Yours isn't gonna have .exe at the end. Um, I file extensions turned on, but for you guys, it'll just say VR chat with the VR icon. Make sure it also says application there. And then after that, um, you're going to want to click on that. You're going on, oops, you're going to want to make sure you select that, click open. Um, make sure, well, I already have this installed, so just make sure to click install. I'm not going to reinstall it again. Uh, click exit. And then after that, you're going to want to download the ML Open VR FSR mod. You're going to want to click on the DLL here which I already have it installed, um, or I already have it downloaded, sorry. You're going to want to go to your VRChat directory again, which I'm already there, but I will show you guys the easiest and quickest way to get there. Open up Steam, go to Library, right-click on VRChat, click Properties, click Local Files, click Browse. It's going to open it up down here. Uh, I'm going to maximize it. Go to Plugins, and... That DLL, you're going to want to drag it or paste it into plugins. Make sure it's not mods folder, but make sure to put it in plugins. Now, if you don't have plugins, um, just go back to the main VRChat folder, click new folder, and then name it exactly as plugins with the capital P. After that, you're going to want to open up VRChat. Now, yours might take a little bit longer to load if you just clean installed melon loader because it has to initialize on the first start so i'm gonna let this load up it's also gonna generate the default files for that mod that i'm showing you guys how to install i'm just gonna let that load up okay should be generated by now maybe for you guys wait till you load in but i'm gonna go ahead and exit now you're going to want to go to user data and then you're going to want to go to um, ML Open VR FSR and then after that um, you're going to want to click on the folder there. There's going to be an Open VR mod config which open that in notepad so open with or click open. Whichever notepad you want to use, um, just select notepad, click OK. Let me open up my custom notepad app really quick. Okay. Okay, sorry, I just needed that in dark mode. Um, okay, so... By default, this should be on super resolution. These are my own changes I made to the config. Um, 
0.65 is the upscale that I have set to. Anything closest to just a single digit zero is going to give you the best performance, but the cost is going to be your image quality. Now, you know, everybody has their own personal preference, or maybe if your computer's really bad, then just put a really low number. For me, 0.65 seems to be good. Honestly, I might raise it a little and play with it, but... For now, I'll just leave it on that for the video. Uh, basically, this just lowers your real game render resolution. And um, it'll apply a super sample, which basically means it'll upscale your game render resolution that it lowered. But instead of actually raising it to a real resolution, it upscales and I believe just makes the pixels more denser, which... And, like, I guess to your eyes, looks sharper. Um, but um, I'm sure there's a better way to, you know, explain that. But um, I have tune sharpness on 0 0.9. Um, also, I was going to say, you could put any number. It doesn't have to be the presets. But these are just kind of like a baseline and to tell you, like, which is what. But um, And then FSR um, right here. This is a radius number. I have mine on 1.0. Basically, this will apply, so think of everything blurry, and then this radius is a certain radius in the middle of your screen that is upscaled to be clear to your eye. Um, I have mine on 1.0, have the index. You could kind of play with the numbers a little bit, um, but it basically just, in other words, for me, um, I have 1.0 for mine, and, you know, around the screen and spots that you're not really focused on in other words maybe your blind spot it'll keep those blurry but it'll you know prioritize the middle of the screen being sharp which is where you're looking at which you know saves you um performance um and then also these are i believe the default values true and then false gonna want to click file and save now i'll have this file in the description, um, you know, for if you guys want to download it and easily replace it, or you could just copy what I just did right here. Um, after that, you're going to want to open up VRChat. Just gonna wait for that to load up and then I'll show you the new FPS. Also, um, a lot of people, um, well, you could benefit from lowering this a little now that you're super sampling. So I'll just drop mine a little bit. Um, okay. Um, I'm not gonna calibrate, whatever. Uh, you can see my FPS is 61. Now, if you guys remember before, it was 41. Um, it maybe will dip down to 41 a little bit, but um, you can see how much of a, I mean, that's a pretty big FPS increase. Um, and if you have a computer that's not as good, then, you know, it's going to be a higher increase in performance. I have the RTX 3090, so mine's already really good, but um, yeah, you know, it's a good mod. Um, and then the other thing is I wanted to show you guys, um, well... There's a bug with Steam VR. If you open your dashboard, it basically randomly, depending on your GPU actually, um, it'll lock you into a 10 FPS bug. Now, if you have a 3090, you probably won't receive that bug at all because you have like 24 gigabytes VRAM, so you have so much headroom that the bug won't even affect you. But, you know, to those that get affected by that bug, all you have to do is, let me make sure I got, okay, there we go. Um, oops, one sec, put my inside the headset view, okay, so what you're going to want to do is, I mean, you're not going to be on that page of default, you're going to want to click the gear icon, the settings, going to want to click on video, and then, um, basically all you do, whatever number you have here, you're going to want to drag it down to I'd say like 10 what, dragging it down by like one or two percent might also work but I know 10 percent definitely fixes that bug like instantly it'll totally take you out of that like choppy 10 fps bug but 
that pretty much wraps it up. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, drop it in the comments. If there's any videos you guys want me to go over, any tutorials you guys want me to make, uh, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope this has helped you guys increase your performance on VRChat. We all know VRChat isn't optimized, but um, yeah.